What's up, strongest men, women, and children from blocks all around the world? I am my block strongest man, and tonight I wanted to come on live to discuss the 2021 World Deadlift Championships. That is the Giants Live 2021 World Open, which begins with the first event being the 2021 World Deadlift Championships, and this is your prediction video. I wanted to come on and talk about the 2021 World Deadlift Championships predictions and preview, go through the main roster, the lineup for the Deadlift Championships, and the five special guests that have been invited, and go through what they've been working on lately, and how I think each will place, and if I think anybody's going to set a new world record in the Deadlift during the 2021 World Deadlift Championships. So let's get right into it. And of course, as always, if you like some of the other content that I've been making around some other contests, my analysis, my prediction videos, the organization that makes all of that possible are my good buddies over at Garage Gym Life Media who have been so gracious as to sponsor this live stream. And I want to give them a chance to talk about what they're doing around, around Garage Gym Life culture and uh, give you a chance to see all the great stuff that they're doing over there to promote the strongman industry. Let's hear from John. Training in a home gym, especially if you're training by yourself, can be tough because sometimes you just don't have the motivation to go in your garage or your basement and get it done. And that's why we stream competitions every month on the Garage and Life Media YouTube channel. I'm John Grease, the third founder of Garage and Life Media. And after 20 years of training in a home gym, I can tell you that there are some days when I just don't feel like training. And those are the days when I put on some sort of training video or other strength-related content to give me the extra motivation I need to get in there and get it done. There is nothing more motivating than seeing people achieving their goals at a powerlifting meet or a strongman competition. And that's why month after month, we provide that content to you right there in the comfort of your own home on our YouTube channel. Plus, we leave it up forever so you can always just throw it on in the background anytime you need that extra dose of motivation to get you going. And that's why if you're not already a subscriber to Garage and Life Media, I invite you to take advantage of this opportunity to add this powerful training tool into your arsenal because I want you to succeed right there in the best gym in town. And thank you again, John from Garage Gym Life Media, for sponsoring this live stream. We really do appreciate it. What's up, Tyler, World's Strongest Blacksmith? I see you. So you're saying... Pavlo's got it. Asko is also looking to be around 485, but not 505 in my opinion. Um, I think I got to agree with you there, but let's go ahead and take a look at everybody who's competing in the uh, the World Open as a whole and the special invitees. So the way that they're fashioning it is you have the World Open, which is a full set of events of which the World Deadlift Championships is the first event. And so everybody who's competing in all of the events will be competing in the World Deadlift Championships as that first event. And then there are an additional five special guests who appear to be competing only in the deadlift portion. So if you go to the Giants Live website and have a look, you can click here to see the full lineup. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you'll see as you scroll down, the full lineup includes Alexei Novikov, Gabriel Pena, Adam Bishop, Luke Stoltman, Terry Hollins we know is not competing uh, as of right now, so he would likely be off this list. Tom Stoltman is on the list. Evan Singleton, who just placed second at the Strongman Classic, and we're all looking very forward to seeing again, will be here in Manchester for the World Open. Then we have Mikhail Shivlikov. Luke Richardson had mentioned that he's going to be out for a while recovering with his injury, so likely not to see him here. Czech Sanu, who is Iron Bibby, who placed third at the Strongman Classic only because he had to pull out or was forced to pull out before the Atlas Stones, or he may have placed even higher, looked incredible at that contest. And of course, the great deadlifter, Raun O'Hein, less six-time Estonia's Strongest Man. So that's your overall lineup for all the events. Now, if we want to find out who the special guests are, we can then go right back up here and click here to see our special guests. So we'll do that. And these are the additional five men who will be competing in the deadlift championships, some of which my buddy Tyler in the comments mentioned. So we'll go down past the pictures and you can see a simple list here. So they include Ivan Makarov from Russia, Asko Karu from Estonia, Pavlo Nakanenchny from Ukraine, Payman Maharipur from Iran, and Nedzmim and Ambeskovic from Bosnia and Herzegovina. So those are your five additional competitors. Now, 
I went through some of their Instagrams because these are not guys where Strongman Archives or international lists of competitions will give you a lot to go on with them. Uh, some of them are either newer or specialists, and you don't get a lot of history that way. So you do have to kind of uh, rely more on Instagram than I normally would like to do or, or did with the Strongman Classic, for example, uh, for these particular guys. Of course, guys like Luke and Tom Stoltman, you have histories to go by and there were contests they did with Max Deadlifts in their past. So we'll we'll have a look there. But here's Asko Karu. And he is, uh, again, from Estonia. He's He lost 63 kilos. So that's quite an accomplishment. Uh, he says he's on his road to 500 kilos. And I think he's been pretty outspoken about saying he's not sharing what he's working on here. Uh, however, there is, if you go to Fitness Volts website, and they have a great website, full chock full of information. I can't say enough good things about Fitness Volt. You should check them out if you have not yet. They have this article about Asko Karu as a power lifter deadlifting 472 kilos without a deadlift suit and with normal straps, not figure eight straps. So um, that's, that's like, what <laughs> is that? Is that even possible uh, without all of those uh, extra uh, equipment helpers going on? So that's Asku Karu. Then if we move on, here is what we have for Pavlo Nakonechny. And he was doing four, 475 kilos here. So here you can see kind of how smooth that was for him. Fairly smooth. Now he's wearing figure eight straps. He does have, you can see the outline of the suit there, and there it is on the back as well. So he is wearing a suit and figure eight straps, but still a huge 475 kilos is a huge lift. And if you watch uh, Big Laws, and I call her Medium Liz, if you watch them do their analysis, they talk about how crazy it is that how many guys are in the 400 so easily now, whereas back in the day, it was an anomaly. So moving on to Payman Maharipur. So if we take a look at his, now he has a really interesting video, this one in particular, where he uh, pulled 450 kilos. Now, when you see me get to my world famous, my block strongest spreadsheets, which you know I make for all of my contest prep. And now that I've started my own new YouTube channel membership for my loyalist of subscribers and audience members, I'm making all these spreadsheets available to you at my level two membership. So for anybody who's ever wanted to play with those spreadsheets or you know, take advantage of the dozens and dozens of hours of research that I put into putting them together and kind of save all that time for a low, low price, you can you can get them. So I'm going to add this spreadsheet into that membership as well as all the other spreadsheets that I've ever made. One by one, I'll get them all in there. They will all be available to you. So if you're looking for a way to support the channel and get huge value in return, channel memberships, there's a join button now next to subscribe. That's one way to do it. So just throwing that out there. But the funny thing about this deadlift is, it's not funny in, in what he's accomplishing. The lift is incredible, but I wrote down in my notes on my spreadsheet, uh, thus the tangent, that uh, he may not, with travel restrictions and whatnot, be able to bring his trainer with him to slap the adrenaline into him before he does his lift. So you'll see while he's doing this pull, uh, when he's preparing to pull, his trainer kind of goes and slaps him around before he gets going. And, uh, you know, could be a bit of an adrenaline rush. So either way, he pulled 450 here. And uh, that seemed like a pretty flexible bar, but deadlift bars, you know, the Texas deadlift bar is fairly flexible. This is uh, Nedzin Ambeskovic, and he did 455 kilos. So he says, Welcome my, welcoming myself to the 1,000-pound club. So that would tell me, um, you know, he's just getting into the, the area of the record, and he's not going to easily get over 500 kilos, although 455 is still an incredible, incredible pull. Uh, so let's see him pull that one. You'll see him pull it here. And um, just saying, like, when there's a competition in a week or so and you're just crossing 1,000 for the first time, which, again, is unbelievable, to say you're going to do 11, over 1,100 in a week is maybe maybe uh, too high of an expectation. Um, you know, a little bit of a hitch here. It was It was pretty smooth, but not as smooth as smooth gets. And then, of course, we move to Ivan Makarov, who, at least from my vantage point, is the one who started all the noise about breaking deadlift records. Uh, he's the one who first got my attention anyway. And as you can see here, it's a lot of plates. He doesn't say how much it is, but World's Strongest Fan has a YouTube channel. So if you check them out, and I, I will uh, put this link in my credits in the description below, you'll see this was actually a 490-kilo pull, which is 1,080 pounds. 
And um, that was his new PB. So you can watch and judge for yourself how difficult or how smooth you feel like this pull was. His uh, his stance is on the narrow side, kind of like a Nick Best type of deadlift stance. But here, 490 kilos. He is struggling a little bit, but he gets it. So he gets up there. 490 kilos. So again, he's wearing figure eight straps. He's wearing a suit. So you have to take that into consideration when judging. Then, of course, those are the five special guests. Then, of course, you have the other gentlemen who are in the whole competition, some of which are incredible deadlifters as well. First and foremost, Gabriel Pena. So Gabriel Pena here is doing a 479 kilo, but this is from 14 and a half inches, we have to remember. So the deadlift championships, as far as I'm aware, are traditional nine inch. But Gabe Pena really placing himself among the best deadlifters in the world. And you can watch him do this 479 kilo from 14 and a half inches. Pretty smooth. I didn't really see much of a hitch in there. Now, if you, this one also was 14 and a half inches. And he had a traditional deadlift in here somewhere. If I scroll down, I think it might have been this one, which was 413 kilo. This is the one. So he did three consecutive singles here. So I can't count that as three reps and kind of use an online one rep max calculator to figure out what that would be. It's not three reps, but it is three singles in close proximity to each other. So I still have to say his max is more than 413. I would probably give him credit for around 425 or so. Um, but it's it's just a guess. Then, of course, you have Adam Bishop, very well known for deadlifting for reps. This is going to be for Max. So he did 427 and a half kilos here and mentioned that this is the heaviest deadlift he's ever done outside of a competition. So many strong men save their best for the competition. Uh, they never max out in the gym, not all of them, but some of them are that way. And so Adam has actually done 440 in competition. And I'll show you all those stats in my Block Strongest spreadsheet in just a little bit. So 427 and a half for Adam. Then, of course, we have Rauno Heinla. And Rauno's doing uh, 400 kilo for three here. And so the one thing I'll say, Rauno looks a little bit downsized. Um, I Googled his weight. It said 295. So uh, I don't know if he was heavier than that in the past, but he did look a little bigger than this to me in the past. So maybe a little bit downsized uh, from what he used to be. And we'll take that into consideration as well. So moving back over, let's go ahead and take a look at my block strongest spreadsheet. So we'll stop sharing that and we'll bring up all of my analysis. And you can let me know what you think of this analysis. So again, our competitors are Adam Bishop, Gabriel Pena, Alexei Novikov, Evan Singleton, Luke Stoltman, Tom Stoltman, Iron Bibby, Mikhail Shivlikov, Rauno Heinla, Asko Karu, Pavlo Nakanenchi, Payman Maharipur, Nedzmin Ambeskovic, and Ivan Makarov. So here's my research. And of course, I've only researched the deadlift portion so far. Haven't gone through the other events yet. I will do that in a separate video, but I figured that the deadlift world championships merited their own video and analysis. So that's what we're doing now. Adam Bishop, as I said on his recent Instagram, was 427 and a half kilos, saying it's his heaviest ever non-competition nine-inch deadlift. Um, on a recent YouTube video, he had a Hummer tire deadlift on his channel at 450 kilograms. But again, that's Hummer tire at a higher uh, elevation. Then at the Shaw Classic last year, also Hummer tire, he did 490. But again, that was a 13-inch, I believe. And then World Strongest Man 2020, he did 509 kilos at an 18 inch. So again, none of these are comparable in height to what he'll be doing at these 2021 World Deadlift Championships. Uh, the 2019 Giants Live Wembley, I believe, was a traditional nine inch and he did 440 there. Moving on to Gabriel Pena, as we said, he did the uh, 413 for three singles recently at a nine inch and then had those others that I showed you. Alexei Novikov in his re most recent Instagram doing deadlift was doing 350 kilos for two. But again, maybe just not going all out max in training, although they didn't look that easy for him. Uh, that being said, we have his 2020 Shaw Classic Hummer tire lift of 472 kilos. His, of course, record breaking 537 and a half kilo world record at the World Strongest Man 2020 at 18 inch deadlift. 
And then at the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic, only 372 kilos at a max. 2019 was Dubai. He did 400. So he is sort of on the lower end when you talk about max deadlift at nine inches. Uh, and he seems to really increase in a huge way at the higher elevated bars. Then we have Evan Singleton. So his recent Instagram, he was doing 365 kilos for three, which I estimated with an online calculator to be about 387 kilo max. He did 380 at the 2019 Arnold Africa. So he's slightly above that, which you should improve a little bit over time. Uh, and then at the 2018 Giants Live North American Open, going back a couple of years, 380 kilos there. So pretty consistently in the high 300s for Evan Singleton. Tom Stoltman um, at 2020 World's Strongest Man did 478 and a half kilos at that 18 inch height, however. And then at the 2019 Wus Dubai, which was a traditional deadlift as far as I'm aware, nine inches, 430 kilos there, and 400 at the 2019 Giants Live Wembley for Tom Stoltman, the current World's Strongest Man. Iron Bibby did, two, did I'm sorry, 400 kilos at the 2019 Wus Dubai, that same competition. And then at that same competition, Mikhail Shivlikov did 440 kilo max. He did 420 at the 2019 Giants Live Wembley. Rauno Heinle put, um, did those three reps at 400 kilos recently on Instagram. As I said, he looks a little downsized. He did 450 at the 2019 Wus Dubai and 455 at the 2019 Giants Live Wembley. So if he's a little bit downsized, maybe he comes in slightly below that. I would probably lump him in with Shivlikov around that 440 range. Um, I don't think he's, you know, down that much. So then, of course, we get into our special guest. Asko uh, Karu did 482 kilograms, again, with no suit. What? Uh, crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, let's just make sure I got that right. Was that 482 or 472? I want to make sure I got that one correct. 472. Sorry, my bad. So let's let's fix that. 472 with no suit. No figure eight straps. And the other thing that, that Big Laws and Liz pointed out that I didn't notice, and thank you to them for pointing that out, he was using a stiffer bar than the traditional Texas deadlift bar, which makes it even harder than what some of these other guys are, are showing. And uh, again, he's not showing anything very recent on Instagram. Pavlo Nakanechny, 475 kilos with a figure eight straps and a suit. Um, and then you have Payman Maharipur, 450 kilos with no suit or figure eight straps. But like I said, he won't have his trainer there to slap some adrenaline into him. Um, and also Big Laz was mentioning he might be, he, there's some possibility he could have some travel issues actually getting there. Um, you know, it's not a given one way or the other, but it's a possibility that he may not be able to make it. So just keeping that in mind, I'm scoring him as if he is making it, uh, obviously. And then we have Ned's Minam Beskovich, and he did 455 kilos with a suit and figure eight straps. And of course, Ivan Makarov from Russia, 470 kilos for two, which would probably um, equate to the 490 for one, which he also did. He had a tough lockout. He he struggles with lockout at these very heavy weights a little bit, but who wouldn't? They're very heavy weights. So, um, you know, the, the lockout looked a little tough. He did have a suit and figure eight strap. So that being said, let's give you my predictions on how I think everybody's going to do. Well, I have Asko Karu winning the World Deadlift Championships and being the only one to set the world record. So if the question is, will anyone set a new deadlift world record at the 2021 World Deadlift Championships? Yes, but only one. Asko Karu. I think Ivan Makarov will do the second highest weight, not enough to break the world record. I think Pavlo Nakanechny comes in at the third highest weight. Again, not breaking the record. Payman Maharipur will come in fourth. Then Nedzmin will come in fifth. And then I think the next weight is a tie. It'll be a tie between Adam Bishop, Mikhail Shivlikov, and Raun Ohainla, all doing the same weight. Then I think Gabriel Pena and Tom Stoltman tie at the next weight after that. And then I think Alexei Novikov, Luke Stoltman, Iron Bibby tie at the next weight after that, around the 400 mark. And Evan Singleton comes in at the bottom of the pack for deadlift. He is very strong in other events. 
not particularly in this one compared to this field. So those are my predictions. Um, what's up? World strongest blacksmith says Heinlo was 340 at one time. Yeah, I thought he did look a lot bigger. So that's uh thank you for for uh confirming that. And then uh Kieran says 482 for Asco, because that, that one article said 472. So maybe that one's a typo. Either way, I think it's enough for him to win uh and break the record because he, he was just using no advantages. No, the bar was a disadvantage. The type of straps were a disadvantage, no suit. You add all those things in, I think that gets him over the hump or closer than anybody else, at least. So again, those are my 2021 World Deadlift Championships predictions and preview. Thanks again to 2021 Giants Live for putting on so many great shows for us to watch. I will be purchasing this one, watching it, and coming back to you with full results and recap when it's all over. And look out in the next few days for my video coming out about this same contest, about all of the other events, and who I think will win the overall contest. So thanks again for joining me on My Block Strongest Man. And of course, as always, until next time, ciao, homie.